angles. Angles are easy. What we need to work with today is degrees and minutes. Okay, so there are 60 minutes in one degree, and that should be a double E, not a double S. So 60 minutes in one degree. Um, so this talks about how to use your calculator to adjust in between, so converting from decimals to DMS, okay, or degrees, minutes, seconds, okay. So that has that symbol, so degrees has that, minutes has a little dash, and seconds has two dashes but it doesn't seem to worry about seconds. So we only need to worry about degrees and minutes and I'll show you where to find them on the calculator. But the first question, for example, is saying convert 43.5 degrees, which is a decimal, into degrees, minutes, seconds. Now this is quite easy. You can do this without the calculator. I'll show you in a minute how to do it with the calculator. But it's 43 degrees and if there are 60 degrees, so 60 minutes in one degree, and you've got half of a degree, then you've actually got 30 seconds. So I'll show you how to do that on the calculator. Okay, so if we're doing 43.5, you can find the degree symbol down on this button over here. So control and that, and you can find the degree symbol right there. Okay, on the end there. And then you just go back into there, and get that arrow, the second one over. Okay, and then you can just type DMS. Okay, and you can see that it's come up with 43 degrees, 30 minutes. So just to show you that again, show you closer. Okay, so you type your 43.5, control and the little book on this black one will bring up that and you go degrees and then you go back into the little book get the arrow which means convert to and then you just type DMS and press enter and it will convert it for you the other thing this exercise asks you to do is to go the other way so from DMS to decimals so that is for example question two you've got 40 degrees 15 minutes and they want that into a decimal. Now this isn't as easy to do in your head, you can do it, sorry you can't focus on that. So you can do it in your head although it's much easier to do on the calculator. So I'll show you how to do it on the calculator. Okay, it's the same process. You go 40, control book, degrees, okay, and we've got 15 minutes which is control book again, but the minutes one is that one there. All right, I'll zoom in so you can see it. Okay, so degrees is up here and minutes is down here. So if you put that in and then you just press Control Enter, you'll actually get 40.25 degrees. Okay, so that's it in decimal form. It doesn't put the degree on the end, but that's what it is in decimal form. Now that, that one is an easy one to do because this is one quarter of the 60 minutes. Okay, so there are 60 minutes, so that's a quarter and so 0.25. So that's how it works, although I think you're probably better off doing it on the calculator just to make sure. There is another way of entering degrees, minutes, seconds on your calculator, and that's by pressing this button here. This will bring up a template with degrees, minutes, seconds already in there. So if you click on that and I zoom in, and focus it, you can see there's actually a degrees, minutes, seconds symbol there. So I can press enter on that and it will actually put the degrees, minutes, seconds in. So I could go 40 degrees and 15 minutes and press my control enter and it will do the same. So you don't have to hunt for them every time. If you want to, you can press the template button here. The symbols are control book and there is the template button there.